so you're actually wearing the sideline cancer uh, gear. Um, highly successful team uh, in the TBT uh, pretty much every year that I can recall anyway. Uh, runner up in 2020 only fell to the to the Golden Eagles who, uh, you know, we've talked to um, Mo Acker actually um, about like what their level of preparation was. And we've had a chance now to talk to people that play on different TBT squads, whether they're added late or whether that they have multi-year involvement. You're somebody that not only is a part of a team that year in, year out is a contender. Um, you've played for them multiple seasons. What is the level of preparation like now this past season and the past couple of seasons um, that, that you guys go through? Um, we just try to figure each other out as best as possible, honestly, because um, even the year that we was in the championship, we had four or five new people uh, on that team. And we just try to enjoy each other to the best of our abilities and try to be the best for this team. What you do best is what you need to establish for this team. Um, because we're not playing against, you know, saying people overseas where you, you know, saying you, you kind of accounted for being better than a foreigner when you're American and you're playing against all Americans now. Now you got to really show that the, the level of the level of everything is up. You know, you got ex NBA players in that league. You got high level overseas players in that league. You got, you got people who just now getting out of college that's in that you got a lot of players you got to be able to play against so for us it wasn't we weren't trying to do nothing too too much we just ran up and down got to know each other as a group and um you know just playing defense getting one to be one our best thing was we wanted to play that golden state you wanted to get stops we wanted to get uh easy threes or layups and um, it was a success for us.